us, any of us, who feel that that building is really okay, to dedicate about six months of your time and work out of that building. Take some bed bugs home. Is a building where Cincinnati police officers work every day just old and dirty, or is it dangerous? Bed bugs, mold, and cramped quarters, those are the complaints from officers working out of District 5. And today, City Manager Harry Black released the results of a recent study of that building. As Local 12's Adam Clements shows us, the results are controversial. What uh, I'm most concerned for is the people who have to work the majority of their day in that building. Cincinnati Police Union President Dan Hills couldn't mask his skepticism after a study conducted by the city showed District 5 is safe. If they found that the radon levels were at acceptable levels, that's a relief. If they found that uh, the mold spores were at acceptable levels, that's a relief. We could have an argument between common sense and science. Uh, when you're in that basement um, in District 5, you can feel the, the, the amount of damp that's down there, smell what I believe um, to be like a mold or a mildew. There is nothing in those buildings that are not in every other building that we have, including City Hall. The city manager says he's welcoming officers and personnel to speak up if they're directly being affected by poor working conditions. And we encourage all employees to initiate the risk liaison process if they have any concerns. Mr. Manager, you are correct. There needs to be more than that occurring. There needs to be an engagement between the administration and the officers themselves. As for a solution, Black says he's committed to working with council on finding the funding to make improvements. That likely won't happen until 2018. Uh, I intend to provide several recommendations and options for them to consider as it relates to the District 5 building. Uh, it will most likely entail renovating an existing building that would accommodate District 5 as well as several other public safety related units. When asked what his next step would be, FOP President Dan Hill said he's going to continue being an active but patient voice for his officers in District 5. At City Hall, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. The city has denied our request to allow our cameras inside District 5.